Hey everyone, welcome back to Stregaluna Metaphysical. Today we are going to make a stevia extract, which is great, believe it or not, for um, Mark Ellen's or um, there's something called, oh gosh, what's the name? Spiracat bacteria, I believe it's called. But it has to do with Mark Ellen's, when I, which is what I'm going through. So, I found that a stevia extract, because it acts like sugar in the body, will fight this bacteria because the bacteria eat it thinking that it is sugar. So, and then it kills it. So, that's what's great about the stevia extract. So, if you're having problems or you're addicted to sugar, could be, uh, and I'm having skin problems too, could be this spiracat, I believe it's called. I will definitely find the name out for sure and put it into the video so you know exactly what it's called. But it uh, causes uh, more gallons. Going through a lot with my skin. As you can see, I had a bad bacterial infection. Came in through my nose and out my skin. And actually spread through my whole body. So that's what I'm trying to help others with too as well. Okay, so stay tuned. We'll be right back and we'll get started. Okay, so we're back, and what you're going to need, now this is just the beginning part of making an extract. I'm actually, uh, I actually do not have any to strain out right now that are ready. So, uh, I'll explain the, the, the part after, the last part of straining it out, but right, I, right now I don't have anything to show you just to strain it out. But I will explain to you, okay? So what you're going to need is a, a clean jar, okay? So I have a clean jar here, and you're going to need about half a jar of the herb that you're using, but we're using stevia today, okay? You want to make sure it's labeled, whether it's a piece of paper taped on there with the date. Usually I would put whether um, it's made with alcohol or brandy or um, glycerin, so you know, whatever you're making it with, if you if you make them consistently, you're going to want to label what is on there. I usually use vodka, um, which is what we're using here. Nope, I'm not an alcoholic. I just use it to make herbs and extracts. <laughs> so, and this is like, you can use a cheap vodka. This bottle alone was like $11, as you can see. They got tags still on here. But... It cost me 11 bucks for this, and I'm not even going to use a quarter. Probably, maybe I'll use only a quarter of this for this size jar, okay, if that. So, it's not expensive to um, to make, an, make your own extracts, which will cost you a lot less to make them yourself than purchase them from, you know, like a company like Now or, you know, the, the bigger companies that sell the herbs and the extracts with the, in supplemental form, you know. So, that sell them in supplement form. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take our half a jar of herbs. And again, you don't have to do this with just stevia. You can do it with any herb. Okay. So, we're just going to, and again, make sure your jar is clean. Okay. I already had the herbs stored in this jar. So, and I just took out what I wasn't going to use. So, and then what you do is you open your vodka, take a sip, no, I'm not kidding. Then you're going to fill the herbs up, and you want to double the amount of vodka that you do the amount of herbs. So you want to make sure it's completely covered, but you want to leave enough space at the top of the jar because once these herbs fill up and start to extract, they are going to fluff up. What you're going to do next is, after you pour the vodka in and you make sure your herbs are completely covered, and as you can see, it's like loose right now, you want to stir it because there's a lot of space in there that needs to be um, 
to, to get the vodka down into the herbs. You know what I mean? So you want to stir them around. Or you could shake the jar. I don't recommend stirring it so this way you don't, you know, it's just a little easier. You can refill as much as you need to. And then you could see how thick it got all of a sudden. Okay? It's not as watery as it was. So then you want to take it and you just want to fill it up a little bit more. Again, leaving space at the top. I recommend filling it to maybe the a little bit below the jar line. Again, because it's going to expand. And you just stir it up. So, just stir it up real good. Make sure everything is, is you know, coated with the, the alcohol. And it's going to be like sort of muddy is the consistency. Like a, 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 like a, a loose mud, okay? And then, you're going to put the lid on and make sure it's on really tight. You know, and just shake it around. Make sure everything's coated. And then you're going to leave it sit for... Well, usually I recommend two weeks minimum, um, but if you're in a rush for it, you can do a week if you need to. Once you're done making this, and after it sits for two weeks or a week, whichever one, the longer it sits, the stronger it's going to be, okay? So then you can strain it, okay? And I'm going to uh, put some notes in on how to strain it, but just to give you an idea, after it sits for you know, as long as you need it, a week to two weeks, you're going to get a cheesecloth and you're going to put it into a, uh, you know, you're going to put that into a, um, make sure a pot or a pan or some kind of bowl is underneath, put the strainer in there, put the cheesecloth into the strainer, and then pour your herb extract over top of it, making sure to catch the liquid. Okay, you want to catch the liquid because that's your extract. And then you take the cheesecloth and you squeeze the herbs out, getting all of that good stuff out. And if you can watch another one of my videos, I made uh, a, uh, an herbal tea that I did the, uh, did the extract and I squeezed it out. So if you look at my other videos, you'll be able to see exactly how to strain them out. But I will put some notes in. But once it's done and you squeeze all that good stuff out, then you're going to jar. You could use the same jar and just rinse out the, any excess herbs. Or you can use a little dropper bottle, which I recommend because you're going to need a dropper to take the extract. And then you, um, you put, the, uh, put the extract into the jar, into the jar, the dropper jar. And then you... Can, if it's too strong for you, you can actually do half of the alcohol and half of the and half water to water it down, and it lasts a couple years. So you don't have to worry about it because it has the the alcohol in there, which keeps it is like a preservative. Okay, but that's that's as simple as it is to make an extract. It's really easy, and a lot of people don't understand that. I just thought it would be good to make a video. And uh, especially with the stevia, because you wouldn't think stevia would be something good to fight fungus because, or, or the spirochet bacteria, because of the fact that it eats sugar. But I'm going to try it myself as soon as this is done, and then I'm going to make another video and tell you how it's working. And you have proof, because of my skin, so you'd be able to see the difference. Thank you for watching, and have an awesome day. Namaste. Hey, this is Lisa from Stragalina. I wanted to let you know that if you need any type of herbs, oils, or anything that has to do with the metaphysical world, check out my website, www.stragaluna.net. We have a full line of metaphysical and witchcraft supplies. Also, we have a great home business opportunity. If you like the metaphysical world, and you love to do spells, or you love herbs or oils, this is the best opportunity for you, okay? You can start your own business with Stragaluna. No money except buying a kit. That's it. That's all you have to do is buy your display kit, and you can get started today, okay? So go check it out, www.stragaluna.net, and I can't wait to see you there. Have an awesome day.